What's up everybody, it is I, Magician88, and as you can see right now, I am outlining Salendus from StarCraft 2 using Flash. Now, you may be wondering, oh, what is this? What is this particular technique that you are using right now? It's, uh, it's a technique called rotoscoping, used quite widely in the uh, animation industry. It's a way of turning 3D footage into 2D footage um, without well, actually, that's exactly what it is. It's turning 2D, 3D footage into 2D footage. If you don't know what I mean, uh, I'll give you an example. Snow White from uh, Walt Disney was actually a rotoscope film where they got a dancer to dance all the moves that Snow White performs in that film. And then they basically used this technique of rotoscoping to turn her into a 2D uh 2D character. Now, as I just typed out very quickly, it's a lot faster to do with a tablet than it is to do with a mouse, so hopefully I'll go get my tablet very, very soon. Now, uh, the reason why I'm rotoscoping Salendus is because it's, uh, well, A, it's pretty fun, and B, it's actually part of a uni assignment uh, that's uh, come up uh, this week. It's going to be going for the next few weeks, where we get to rotoscope a 20-second film that goes for 8 frames a second. Now, this screen has come up because my dad needs a little bit of help with an email, so I'll just continue explaining what's going on. I got a uh, rotoscope 160 frames, and that not not only does that include the outlining portion, but it also includes a lot of uh, colouring in, which will also be just equally as fun. <laughs> and the idea is that afterwards the uh, the 2D uh, result that comes out of rotoscoping will in fact be animated to look like the normal movement of Salendus. So it's actually pretty exciting as you can see already um, I've got two frames and uh, you've got to put them uh, I want you to keep in mind that this video was actually going at times 10 speed so uh, just just a just like think about how like how long this particular process takes. It's kind of like how a lot of um, a lot of old animations were done by hand. They basically drew everything. So obviously, old animations, the old ways of animating were very very time consuming, very uh, very stressful sometimes. Maybe <laughs> very they just took a while. Uh, now I'm making this video in particular because I figure. Why not? I've actually starting to I'm actually starting to do something that's a little bit more arty and crafty, and I quite like that. And I'm going to do what I did last time, which is uh, probably just live stream the whole thing. Could be fun. And uh, yeah, so if you go to twitch.tv forward slash position 88 whenever I actually live stream it, which will probably be very very soon, um, I will probably just start continuing with uh, this, uh, maybe. Maybe. Could be fun, I reckon, and uh, if you like it, then that'd be great. If you don't like it, then fair enough. I'll just keep doing it. And, uh, yeah. Alright. So now, uh, I think I'd best give props to SC2Units, uh, uh, YouTube channel user, or YouTube user. Uh, go check them out, youtube.com forward slash, I believe, it's like, maybe it's like users. No, youtube.com forward slash SC2Units. Or look up for SC2 unit portraits, and you should be able to find a guy who has basically all the unit portraits for every single unit in uh, Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm. I quite like his channel. It's basically where I got a lot of uh, my moving backgrounds. My moving backgrounds for uh, desktop, for my desktop backgrounds, actually. Wow, I screwed up that sentence. My desktop moving backgrounds, you know, those ones uh, where I use Decorate. No, I don't. I use. Um, I can't remember what the the bloody program is, but anyway, I used that. I, I got I got those videos from him, and I'm using Salendus, which of course I got from him. Uh, right now, I'm just going to be rotoscoping her face and headdress, uh, ignoring her hair. I think it's called or tentacles or whatever the hell they are. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be ignoring those. Uh, because I don't really, we don't really need to go that far just yet. The idea is basically to experience the whole art of rotoscoping, which of course is a very fascinating uh, technique. Which, uh, well, it's an old technique, but it's still a pretty fascinating technique. It's still used today. Um, there have been quite a few uh, media arts, media art work. Is that the right word? Media, media art pieces that have come out through rotoscoping. But anyway, I think that's about it. So. Until next time, thanks for watching, and um, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye-bye!